a luxury not enjoyed by the majority of the world. How much longer South Africans will be able to drink water safely from a tap will depend on how we care for these wastewater treatment plants. But when taking a look at the overall state of the 963 sewage plants across the country, it doesn't inspire confidence. It looks like about half of our wastewater treatment plants nationally are not meeting the required standards. Recent droughts may have brought water issues into sharp focus. But are we talking enough about how we care for the little water we have? Researchers argue the country is approaching crisis point. One of the uh, uh, challenges on, on, on water, um, sanitation, infrastructure, is the growing population, you know, which is growing at a higher rate than we can meet, then we can close that gap of providing um, services. As the number of people relying on the current water system increases, capacity simply isn't keeping pace with a third of treatment works in a critical state. Studies estimate over 1.5 billion kilolitres are being lost annually due to leaking pipes, dripping taps, infrastructure failure and theft. And it's costing taxpayers an estimated 7 billion rand a year. Mainly it, it, it arises from, from either aging infrastructure or poor maintenance of the infrastructure. And, I mean, some of the latest um, uh, uh, cases now really point to um, poor and inadequate infrastructure to, 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 to contain um, um, sewage, uh, spillage, and as, well as, as well as treatment. But government can't do this alone. There is no one silver bullet um, that is the solution to our water challenges. We actually need a silver basket of many partners coming together to kind of lift us out of the water crisis that we're in at the moment. Saving water has thus become a national imperative, be it through pressuring authorities to do more or taking responsibility ourselves to conserve this limited resource. Nicholas Bauer, Johannesburg.